Okay. So, I... Hey, so... First of all, good morning. Especially to people in California. Right, let me just say, hey, good morning. Secondly, um... This is a, a, a totally, I guess, a single individual episode. So, I heard... I heard somebody was dropping a single. I heard somebody was dropping a single called California. So, I said, hey, you know what? We definitely gonna listen to it. Um... However, I do want to kind of make a slight note. Um, <laughs> being an artist takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication to stay on, like to stay constantly release, have a bunch of PR release, and have a lot of stuff like that. It takes a lot of time. And this artist clearly loves her music. So, with her love and her music, she stick to the... She sticked to the release for both her video and her music, which we'll get into in a minute after we hear a quick uh, quick word from our sponsor. We'll definitely hear about it, but I'm definitely going to go deep detail about this or when we just go in a little detail about um, Anchor. But we'll get, to, we'll get to that in a second, and then we'll get right back into the song and how I feel, how this song, I genuinely feel about this song. Even though it is a four-minute song, it's not long and it's not short. But is that is that perfect sweet spot right there for everybody listening? So we definitely get into that while we add it today. Let's get it. Okay, so as everyone knows, getting back on topic, as everyone knows, I am a huge person. I like the music and the videos to interline. I'm not that I'm in cinematography, but I do like a good music video that goes well with the song. I do want to say though. The props, like the electric guitar, the microphone, the overlays. I loved that in the video. The video, in her music video that she put out on the Michaela Bradbury channel, that I will put a link in the description and send you a link right to the video. I seen it when it premiered. It was great. It was a great experience. It, 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 it was, it's a video where you didn't even look at the time. It's just, the video is so... It's a great video. Like you won't want to miss it because it's it's just a video that's just someone having fun and someone really enjoying the music and vibe with the music and writing what she loves. And I personally love that in the music video. Okay, so the music video I did love the camera, the skating backwards. I loved that. I did. Um, I like the electric guitar prop. I like the microphone prop. I liked everything about it. I think it had the um, pop filter on the microphone. It was great. And I heard that we were going to get an EP, but that's neither here or say. I do like how it is. I love the listening. It really does feel like you're in California, where every 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 chorus, every hook, and every verse has its excitement to it. While the video is her skating backwards and skating forward, and just really having fun on set, and I think a lot of art, a lot of artists need to have a lot of fun on set, which a lot of artists don't really do. But I, I will say it is good. Um, the lyrics, we'll get into that. But I do like the you see her messing around with the guitar and the park background. I don't know if that's a virtual background or if that was just taken at the park because in the video you do see them outside a lot and i do like how you don't really see any traffic in the video or see anybody passing which is great they really did it like a actual music video where they block off the roads and i did like that part of it um when the instruments i I really had no problem i did like i really i did like it now it says pop, but it ha- I like it as pop. It has some R&B to it, and it has some kind of rock to it, and I do like that. It's a nice, it's a nice thing we don't really get. Like Paramore, nice. We don't get this a lot, so I do like that. That's undeniably one of the best things. It it has like that little drum, that clap that you hear, like. It's like a clap that you hear, and it's a good, it's a nice clap to add into a song at the very beginning, and it kind of it kind of brings the emotion throughout the whole song. As I said, this is a four-minute song. 
but the lyrics itself are deep and I do like the drum to clap I like everything about it but as I said the lyrics are a little deeper if you just look at the music video for the music video I would say do it but I like the music video and I like to listen to the audio itself to see the huge difference it's not really a huge difference it sounds great both ends um Spotify actually released it on time so like 12 is when they released it and I'm doing like a blind react to it the like the moment after watching everything and writing a few things down which I did enjoy and I did like taking notes and there's a song where it's fun the song itself brings a lot of fun to it which I don't think a lot of artists do but I think she was able to do it a lot more and this backtrack so I'm getting to the song but this is backtrack I think it's a backtrack it could be another track that they put as just to put in a layer in the back and it kind of mess with the gain and stuff but I know a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when I say mess with the gains mess with the stuff like that that's a lot of studio stuff that I don't want to really talk well try to go into detail about but you can hear like a in the background thing I can take the heat Kelly was made for me. You kind of hear it in the background where it's like a fading background, like a chorus, like a like an ad lib. People know how they call it ad libs. It's like a, it's like a. I think I could take the heat. Kelly was made for me, and it da, 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 da. and it's like it's it's very dope. You never you don't lose a guitar solo like at the very end. It's a, a, a crisp guitar solo. I do like that. I do like the music video. Now let's get into the the actual words of the song. <laughs> It says I live, I I've always lived on the East Coast, which a lot of people do hate living on the East Side. I, they they do, they just do, and the dream has always been Cali. Like Cali is where all the dreams happen because Hollywood happens and everything happens. So this song, through the instruments, the changing of the instruments, the changing of the notes, and the changing of the uh, measures for if it goes four to eight, four four, um, and some whole notes. That I really do think you get that, hey, it's California, let's get this California feeling into this song, and every note, every word is going to have meaning behind it, which a lot of rappers don't do, or a lot of singers don't do, which I do find in this song, it's great, the chords and the words match up, um, honestly, I, I just, um, she said she, she doesn't leave, um, east side, because, um, she's afraid to die, and I, I don't know if she's saying the state, the state where there's a lot of, on the West, there's a lot of stuff that happens, or there's a lot of stuff that happens in the South, I'm not entirely sure, I just took it as, hey, I move anywhere else, it's a lot of gun violence happening, she's a part of that, and that's still fine, it was, the message was still pervade, even if it's just the part of the city that she's in, or the state. Um, but that was persuaded very well to me. Um, this is where you, where you at? All I want to do is go to Cali, even if it's taking pics about a Hollywood sign, which I think is great because a lot of people want to take pictures of Hollywood sign. That's a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of things that tourists do in California is go to the Hollywood sign, take a bunch of pictures. I get that, and I, I like how that flows. And she, I think she says be on tour, but I, I can't make that like one letter out but I think that is good I, I do like that kind of uh like that I, I don't know why it's just that like that little accents on words and like the how long you hold them up I like that I do I, I can't really explain that I do um the next line I know I belong there listening to songs on the beach I think she's just saying she can prove it to herself that she belongs there, and it's, and it's true. She, I think she does belong there, and it's a very solid release. Like, I, I don't want to throw shade at anybody don't release this, but this was a really solid release. I liked everything that came with this release. I like the song. I like the music video. I like the guitar solo. I like the drums. I like the clapping at the very beginning, and I do say I do hold some people that do samples a lot. I do normally do like samples, but this without a sample, I did like it a lot. 
Um, you didn't really get the Cali filler, which I do think is a good thing because the Cali filler does make this song feel a little bit better. Like the little wind in your hair, California vibe. And this is something you can really listen to just anywhere, any day, night, wherever you really want to listen to it. You could definitely listen to the song and just kind of vibe out to it. I would. I still am. And this is definitely going to be in my rotation. So, uh, Michaela Bradboy, California, Gustrum, <laughs> Gustrum, California. Now on Spotify, and if you pre-ordered it like I did, it's going to, you know, it's definitely going to be at 7 o'clock, 7, say, 7 a.m. stateside, I don't know, there's different time frames, I definitely look it out, but definitely go stream California, it is on Spotify, so I definitely would go look that out, and the video is definitely on YouTube, I'll leave the link for the YouTube video, for her music, for her first official music video, which she seemed very confident in doing, and releasing, so I definitely would show her some love. Go stream California though, seriously. <laughs> you, won't, you won't regret it. I liked it. It's a different tone that we're getting from music nowadays. And I do like this. 